Hmm. John Voigt. John Voigt. Um, there's a there's a, a constant trend that we see all the time these days. Uh, and it's ramping up even more leading up into the election. But it's been kind of a perpetual thing where popular culture seems to usually reject uh, Trumpian uh, efforts these days. Seriously, like legit. Uh, Trump will play a popular song and then the artist of that song will be like, yo, knock it the fuck off. I don't want you playing my fucking music. Um, whether they can like say he can't or not is usually up to like music licensing and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But for the most part, most of the time, uh, pop culture does not really like, uh, the Trump administration. And, uh, it's, it is true that there is an overwhelming bias towards more lefty and liberal uh, ideas and um, perspectives when it comes to culture. However, there are a few dusty old farts that somehow uh, manage to not just be supportive of Trump, but end up acting like intolerable fucking jackasses. And that's the thing that always drives me crazy. Like, if somebody in Hollywood wants to just support Trump, I don't care if you want to support Trump. Fucking whatever. That's okay. It's okay. It's You're allowed to like whoever you want to like. You're allowed to support whoever you want to support. That's fine. But what is it about people like John Voigt and uh, James Woods that they not only are super supportive of Trump, but they're intolerable dickbags? I mean, these guys are fucking scummy. They are god-awful. They're so fucking annoying. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. It just seems so weird. So weird. So, yeah. John Voigt, uh, he put out a tweet, uh, a video in a tweet, and uh, the only text on it is, Evil. John James Woods is a shockingly bad piece of shit. He is. Yeah, him versus Ron Perlman is fucking great. I li- listen, I do not advocate for violence in any shape or form, but if Ron Perlman and James Woods were to get into uh, a, a fist fight on Minecraft, I would very much enjoy watching James Woods' Minecraft character get beaten into a pulp, okay? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Um, <clears throat> yes, this is John Voigt, uh, who's been kind of a piece of shit for a while, but... You know, he's still a really good actor, so it does kind of sting to see this, but let's watch it. Biden is evil. Oh. Trump must win. Just right out the gate. Biden is evil. Trump must win. Oh, okay. He's real. He will bring back the people's trust. Okay. I I hate that I'm going to be pausing this so much, but I'm going to because all of this is really fucking dumb. Because I I previewed watching this before we... Before we watched it here on stream and I recorded it. Um, <clears throat> Biden is evil. Okay. Trump must win. Um, Actually, probably looking like he's not going to. I mean, anything can happen, but still. Uh, but he'll bring back the public's trust. The problem is, is that he's been in power for four years. If the Trump, if the public has lost faith in the government... It's Trump's fault. He's the one in charge. That's why when all these people are like, look at Biden's America, and it's like images of of cities burning down and blah, blah, blah. Like, bro, Trump's in charge. He's the one at the wheel, and this shit is happening. Like, I'm sorry, what? (laughs) How you can't blame this on somebody who's not even in charge? These leftists are not for the American people. It's the biggest cover-up ever. These leftists are not for the American people. Overwhelmingly, not overwhelmingly, but consistently, uh, there are more left-leaning people in the country by population numbers than there are right-leaning people. So what you're saying is that over half of America is not for America. Unless, of course, you're just kind of making a nebulous them sort of argument. But that's the thing, though. Like, you know, the, the, the rhetoric of populism doesn't really lend itself towards facts most of the time. 
Biden is an extension of the policies of Obama that weakened America, and we cannot let that happen again. Uh, weakened America in which ways, blah, blah, blah. The left are deceitful and have lied to the American people. They have stripped down her mighty powers. The left are the American people. They're just as much as the right are the American people. You guys got to stop with this shit. This is what I find so fascinating these days. Like... I, if there's somebody who's like an ardent Trump supporter who's doing some bad shit, yeah, I'll call him out. I'll be like, dude, that kind of shit is really, really fucking bad. But I mean very specific behaviors, very specific people. My main problem I have is with Trump and some of the choices that he's made and some of the ways he encourages people to do bad things. I do not think that people who do bad things at the behest of Trump necessarily have to be bad people. They're just being led towards something that I feel is very damaging and bad. But... That I can make that distinction. I can make that distinction between Trump and his ideas and the people. So, like, the left is like, Trump is bad. And then people on the right are like, all of the left is evil. What the fuck? Those are your fellow Americans, you fucking morons. You weirdo psycho cultists. For their own ego of power to rule the nation's economy. Ugh. Let us ask God to rid this horror. Okay, I'll ask. And let him. us hold a candle on this land. Hey, God, will you will you rid us of the? No, no, he's not listening. Magic Sky Leopard Daddy isn't listening. Of the free and bring her back to the place she once stood proud. Blah blah. blah. She is God's liberty. She is God's love. She Wait. is freedom, dignity. America is God's liberty. Is God's love. What the fuck does that even mean? What the fuck does that even mean? Like, that's so weird and strangely isolationist. Like, there's a God that exists, and he loves America more than the rest of the planet. We are the tool of God. What the fuck? And God will cast his healing breath across this land he Ew. will vanquish deceit Ew. and i assure you that jesus moses will stand their ground and ask all to vote for truths our land of the free will break her chains and okay okay is he actually saying jesus and moses are gonna show up and ask us to vote for truth Jesus and Moses, together, uh, they're making a band. It is a little weird. You think this is a little weird? Really? Yeah, me too. Me fucking too, dude. This will be. My children of God, your only hope is to see this greatness. And you must vote for this man in office, the President of the United States of America, Donald J. Trump. Gross. For he is a man of integrity fighting for you. Man of integrity. <laughs> accused of sexual assault friends with Jeffrey fucking Epstein uh, <laughs> blatantly and openly um, uh, utilizing uh, his position to enhance his own business interests bragging about sending US marshals in uh, to arrest somebody and they and they extrajudicially execute him which is exactly what he wanted Sure, a man of conviction and morals and ethics. You fucking weirdo. You psychopath. And this country's welfare. He loves this country as you do. Don't allow deceit to manipulate you. For only truths will prevail. Don't die knowing you all allowed a lie. This lie has to be wiped out. <laughs> Some... <laughs> Does the lie need to be exterminated? Do you have a solution for us, Mr. Void? <laughs> Fucking freak, dude. Donald Trump has been great for the American people these last four years. No. And he wants to continue to fight for her glory and freedom. Uh, the no. left will bring you down with their lies and destroy America. Oh, destroy Let America. Let us all pray. Remember when Obama was going to destroy America? You know? And we went through eight years and fucking nothing changed except like gays can now get married and a bunch more Yemeni children were turned into fucking salsa. Remember that? I mean, we did get Obamacare, but man, is it, it's, it's incomplete. It needs a lot of work still. But goddamn, dude, gonna just destroy America because we got that radical Muslim 
who was born in Nigeria. Derp, derp, derp. Fuck. And may God give us strength that we may shine in the name of Jesus and Moses mm. and saints of all religions. Mm. May we hold God's torch of truths and pray for world peace. For the U.S. to bring her nation's flag to wave with pride with President Donald Trump, 2020. God bless. Fucking gross, dude. What a fucking weirdo. Ew. What, like, dude, pure distilled cult shit. And, and I just to, just to real quick to mention, before we wrap this up, this little section, um, nobody has to ask John Voigt to do this. He has plenty of money. He's an accomplished stage act, stage and screen actor. Like, this motherfucker has plenty of money. He's loved by millions. Nobody had to, like, buy him to do this. He's just this fucking crazy. He's just this fucking nuts. Like, this is some really, really, really fucking, like, overt cult shit, okay? This is, this is unhinged. Absolutely unhinged. 